Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? What's going on? I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Yeah, I'm this, I'm over here getting pumped. I'm getting excited. So let me tell you what's up. Last night, I am in my new, well, new used truck. It only has 200,000 miles on it, so... But I'm I'm feeling some kind of way as I'm about to show you guys. What's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast today. Yo, you know what this podcast is about. We about to respond to somebody's comments, man. We about to we about to go. Uh, I already already watched the video that just recently popped up into my feed again. I'm dude. Where this guy been? Where have this guy been? I don't know where he been. He, he but he just popped back up though. Y'all know who I'm talking about? This man right here. Where have he been? You know, I mean, he just recently got back into the truck. I thought he was out the game for good. I I don't know, but it, it came up on my feed. And of course, you know, I watched the video, which he talked about trucking tips, finding the right entrances. Yo, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So in this video right here on the little guy show, make sure you guys go check him out. Um, he was talking about uh, using the GPS and truck drivers Find, uh, going to the wrong place well not wrong place but like when they get to the like when they get to the shippers and or receivers they go in to the wrong you know to the wrong place like if you drive up to a shipper and you your your gps takes you to the front door which nine times out of ten a lot of them do they just take you right to the front door then you'll be stuck you know, you'd be like, yo, this ain't the way to get in. You got to find the truck entrance, right? And this is what he was talking about. He, he was, you know, he got a little skit with his, uh, with his joy character. And, you know, he, you know, he was driving around, you know, saying that he got stuck and all like that. And, you know, the GPS, you know, he was following the GPS. And, and of course, he said that's a rookie mistake. Of course, it's a rookie mistake. It's it's a, it's not only a rookie mistake, but it's all mistakes because we all been there. We all type in, we all type in the the coordinates, and boom, we follow it. It's just like me and Bernard, like Bernadette says, we we can't we can't phantom how it was back in the day when drivers didn't have this type of technology that can actually navigate us from point a to point b what lanes to be in what routes to take we we ain't have none of that but but as i said before gps is only a tool now i said it i said it yeah i said it a lot of old school drivers hates us new school drivers period they hate us with a passion they call us all sorts of names because we because we have the technology that they didn't have before then they like look if you can't read a map then you don't need to be driving but uh, if that's the case then what about the four wheelers what about us driving our cars instant navigation is built into the cars now so so yeah uh, but I, I do i do have a, a ram mcnally atlas yes i do uh i and i do go to a time uh time or two you know what i'm saying if i get into a situation I, i'll i'll refer to it yeah i use that but it's it's not my end all be all uh go to and i'm being honest it's not my go-to thing you know what I'm saying? I type in the information I need on my GPS, compare routes, and boom, I'm on my way. Now, what he says in his video, he was saying that he gave you some, some tips, right, on 
how to find the plate how to find the entrance to a place where you actually going to and the tips that he was saying it's kind of good it's kind of good you know maybe I, I don't know if anybody else talked about it but you know if you if you're looking for tips like this definitely go to his channel the little guy show so what he was saying is you use google earth right we have the technology i mean think about it we have the technology gentlemen we can okay. rebuild him you pull out we your have phone the technology you I, I don't even have my phone on me or your tablet i i got my tablet you pull out your tablet which is boom right here everybody should have one every every trucker should have a tablet if you don't have a tablet pull the truck over right now and go get one go to verizon go to t-mobile go to best buy and get you a tablet trust me this is a lifesaver <laughs> oh okay yeah, there's still got stuff coming on this is a lifesaver I kid you not. So you pull up Google Earth and you scroll down. You use satellite view. You scroll down to wherever you need to go and you scroll all the way down until you see where you need to go. And that's a good tip. Uh, as far as navigation goes, um, Google, I use uh, I use Google navigation, but I only use that while I'm on the highway because it gives me real time uh it gives me real time uh on traffic and you know weather and stuff like that so i use it just for the highway when i'm off the highway yo i'm with my old good old trusty still going strong 730 ram mcnally it is still going strong like the energizer bunny I don't like the new 740s, and I'm hoping that the new uh, Ram McNally's that's coming out this year or Nets, I will probably pick it up then, but my 730 is still going and going, going and going. And going. All right, going. so let's get into some of these comments. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. 2B. 2-bit user says, first comment, I use Google Maps satellite view to see plate, see the places beforehand and see where it looks like your truck enters. You can even post a pin and market truck interest for future reference and other drivers. Also, leave a review and mention the entrance. Yeah, you can do that on Google Maps. Um when you when you navigate to something like that you can actually move the pin from from the place where you're going to or the place where it pins at to the place where where you're going to so if you like need to get into an entrance or need to get into uh, a specific place then take the pin on the google move it over to where it needs and it will actually navigate you right over to that pin um you can as he said you can you can mark it for future places so if this is one of the places that you go to all the time then yeah make sure you mark it so that you don't have to worry about uh putting it in there also a word of note there is some places that's like don't have addresses so you can put the address close to the place where you're going to and when you get there you can mark it you can also mark it on your uh, Ram McNally too. So the next time it will route you right where you need to be. Tank Commando 1776 says, yep, perfect example of the hole I just went to. My GPS wanted me to turn down the street with a seven foot high bridge. I used, I had to use Google Earth to find the truck entrance. I don't know why the bridge is so damn low. I could literally stand, I could literally stand in there and touch the ceiling with my arm bent. Yeah, man, you got to be careful. Yes, sir. You got to be careful when you use Google GPS because Google GPS thinking that you're driving a car and not an 80,000 pound truck. 
You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully in the future, Google will put uh, a truck GPS together. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Y'all see that? The light keep falling. It keeps falling. I know it's, it, and I think it, it, it just turned me dark too. Look at that. Look at all that bright shade right there. But anyway, I'm, I'm in the video, so I, you know, I'm not going to get up. But, um, but yeah, make sure that, uh, make, make sure, hold on, here we go. Yeah, make sure that the, the route that you're following is a truck route because Google can get you into some situations. I'm just saying. Scott Lipschitz says, great video. I have been driving tractor trailers for 25 years. And I can tell you how many times I have gone to the wrong entrance. I think using this technique will definitely cut down on some of the stress when you're not familiar with where you are going to deliver to. Exactly. You do, you use that or you do when you do your trip planning. When you get ready to go and you do your trip planning, you use Ram and Nally, you use the map and you use your Google and you can figure it all out. It will cut down on the stress before you even get to the situation, before the situation becomes a situation. I'm just saying. Jonathan Smith says, to save yourself some time when you drop a pin, you can enter the coordinates into your GPS to bring you to the exact point. It works on Google Maps, not sure about Earth. Exactly. Like when you when you put your pin in, it will put like a coordinates information down at the bottom of the uh, on the bottom of the information screen on the Google. You could take that same information and put it in your Ram McNally and it will route you right to that pin drop information. Jesse James says that happened that has that has happened to me several times. I use Google Earth all the time and I can see where to go and where the entrance and exit is. Guess you're at a warm area. Me, I'm all the way up north where it's freaking cold. Yes, it is freezing out here. It is freezing. I'm up here in Cleveland on my on I mean on my off time. And dude, it is it is like 10 degrees outside. It is crazy. But yeah, uh definitely use Google Earth and Google navigation. That will definitely help you out to to pinpoint where you need to go. Connor Foster says, I've been doing it this way for a long time just because I don't be, just because I don't want to be that guy. Thanks for sharing for everyone though. Yeah, you don't want to be that guy. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy that gets his picture taken because you went down the wrong way. Or you don't want to be that guy that gets his picture taken or video taken because you went down and got up under a bridge where you're not supposed to be. You don't want to be that guy. So definitely, like I said, use all this as a tool. Don't use it as the end all be all. Use it all as a tool, especially if you don't have a, a GP, a Ram and Nally truck GPS and you and you're using Google sorely for your navigation, then get yourself a map book because that route that Google is taking you down could possibly be the wrong route for you. I'm just saying, yes, sir. Kristen C says, I used to do that on Uber Eats and DoorDash. That's, I always use Google Earth to navigate and will also get me a pinpoint to where the exact location of house or building to deliver food to your customers. Yee yee. Well, you're in the car, bro. So <laughs> you're in the car. So you're not going to have that problem. <laughs> you're not going to have that problem. You can pretty much get up under any bridge and you can drive on any street. We, on the other hand, we can't do that. I'm just saying we, we can't do that. 
we can't just drive on any street and we can't just get up under any bridge. So trip planning, planning your trip, making sure that your situation is cool before you start to drive. Make sure you got all of that point, I mean, all of that taken care of before you start to drive. Let's see. Metal Machine 467 says, I work for a non-woven company and transfer finished products from the plant to the warehouse. I continuously get trucks coming in for the meat plant car gills that that's a mile down the road now the front gate says our company name not cargill we also get wedge man delivers deliveries they are about a quarter of a mile to the left makes me wonder how many drivers actually know how to read they were following the gps well it is sad to say that about nine or uh, about 85 percent of the drivers today uses gps if they don't have a truck gps they use google if they don't have google then they will make a way to learn how to read a map i'm just saying it's 2020 man we're the new millennial drivers. We're the new jacks. We, everything is so easy for us now. Even the truck, PeopleNet, uh, Qualcomm, or whatever, whatever computer system that's in the truck has a GPS. It's, it's just unfortunate that, that we, we have that. And so unfortunate for you that a lot of drivers you know follow their gps and it takes you right into their uh into their thing right into their thing all right all right anthony says i stand behind google earth it is not perfect but it's damn well close to it it has helped me get out of jams, especially in some of these store deliveries, which I don't know. Some places really want to test truckers' ability to drive. Great video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you doing uh, a family dollar or uh, <laughs> if you're doing family dollar or dollar trees or anything like that, that's in these little in these little hole of a wall of uh of places to go yeah they will definitely test you okay you can mark and get to some spots but it is so crazy that 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 these gps would get you in the, in jams that you can't get out of and you're in you 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 gotta it's it tests it, it it's it tests your might for real <laughs> uh metal machine again says back in 1928 there was no jeep 1928 <laughs> 1998 where there was no gps or google earth i didn't even have a cell phone everything was landlines it was a lot tougher then I made some crazy turns in car parking lots. The craziest one was on a beach with a load of cheap pallets. No choice. We'll have to back down five miles onto a highway. Thank God I made it. <laughs> man, I'm glad that you made it too, man. Back then, I know it was tough for you guys. Old school drivers, I know it was real tough for you, man. And, and we... and. I feel for you, you know, no cell phone, no electronic devices, no maps, no navigation, no Google, no Ram at Nally's, nothing, nothing. All right. So technology today, all I could just say is embrace it. Embrace it. That's all I could say. Uh, David W says, I like I like most of the tips in this video, but if I could make a suggestion, both Garmin and Ram McNally lets you use coordinates. 
when you place Google Map Pen, it will give you the exact coordinates to, to that pen. So what I do is to find the truck entry, then drop a pen right there where the truck and the driveway meets, then enter the coordinates into the GPS. Works every time. GPS doesn't always have all the streets or might spell different than Google. So my trick works better and faster. I also use zip code instead of the city names. That's, that's a good ass tip, bruh. David, that is a good tip. If you, if you use the coordinates and you move the pin on the Google Maps, it will bring up that little information down at the bottom. And then you could take that information again and put it in the Ram McNally or, or the Garmin. And it will get you right where you need to be. Well, that's it, everybody. I'm glad that you here to watch me. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell plus the all for more content like this. And when I drop videos, I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And yo, I just want to tell you this right quick. Come back to me, okay, for more videos like this, all right? Respond to comments, man. I like I like this series. Let me know how you like it in the comments below. All right. I'm about to get out. I'm about to get up out of here. I just got a call from my fleet manager, so I gotta call him up and see what he wants. We about to go and um and yeah. We'll, we'll come back with another video. Say la V baby or hasta la vista, baby. I am gone. We're out.